like with any bowl of ramen, the first thing that you have to do is just try that broth. Good morning, hey everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the beautiful city of Fukuoka, Japan. And this is one of the capitals of ramen, not only in Japan, but in the entire world. And this morning, we are on our way to go to Ichiran. This is probably the most legendary, one of the most iconic names in Fukuoka, Hakata Tonkotsu, which is the pork bone ramen. Maybe it's one of the most iconic names in all of ramen around the world. They have locations around the world, but its birthplace is here in Fukuoka. And so today we are gonna go, actually it's gonna be my very first time to try Ichiran. I've never had it before. And there's no better place to try it than at the flagship, at the original, at the headquarters location. So in this video, we're gonna head to the original location. We're gonna order, we're gonna eat, and I'm gonna show you the entire process. Let's go. And yeah, like I was mentioning, this will be my very first time. I guess I just never had an opportunity or a chance to try Ichiran. Uh, but again, it's one of the most famous names in all of ramen. It started right here in Fukuoka in 1960. And I believe that it started off as a food stall here in Fukuoka uh, before expanding into the restaurant and then before expanding all around the world. Not all around the world, but in a few different cities. And I'm not totally sure of the exact number, but they have some 65 locations in Japan, a bunch of locations in Tokyo, and they have locations in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and New York City, and possibly plans for expansion as well. Should be just just around the corner and we're going to be there very soon and have the entire experience eating at Ichiran. Okay, and around the corner here, and there it is. Almost impossible to miss it. There's like 12 stories of ramen. And here we are almost impossible to miss. It's huge with all the red lanterns. Welcome to the headquarters of Ichiran. And did I mention also, it's 24, open 24 hours a day. This is kind of like a, I mean, a ramen pilgrimage for ramen lovers. They're known to have an extremely secret recipe and apparently only four people know the recipe for that soup broth. And actually you're meant to go upstairs. They say go upstairs to the second floor to eat. I think probably, so they have the, oh, they have the ramen at the top. This is just the straight ramen. This comes with extra noodles, I believe. And then this one comes with extra shashu. I think I'll go with, I think you'll oh, I think I'll go with this one though. I want this one, Mega want this one. The classic ramen? Yeah. And I'll, I'll salai, hey Mega, Mega salai, my look. Okay, salai for Mega. On second thought, I think I just want the classic ramen and then I believe that you can add extra noodles at your table if you want it, which I think we, we do want it. Okay, we have to insert the cash now. Okay. Okay, get the receipt and get the tickets. Okay, there's a bit of a, a line. They said it's about a 20 minute wait, so then you order all from the machine. They only have three different like main options you can get and then all the add-ons inside. So I'll just choose the main ramen. And now we're gonna just wait in line for a little bit here. And so then when you pay from the vending machine, you get this ticket, which you're gonna hand to them as you sit down, I believe. Okay, so I guess in order to speed up the process, we fill out the, normally I saw people fill this out at your table, but I guess they're filling it out in line, our customization. And this is one of the main things here at Ichiran. They figured out a way to customize your order. The dashi stock, you can go, I guess medium is the recommended. That's the strength of the flavor, I guess, or the broth, the dashi, I'll go medium. For the richness, you can get light, none, medium, rich, extra rich. I think I'll go medium as well. Garlic, none, drop, half clove, oh, full clove for sure. Green onion, yes, green onion. Chashu, with for sure. Um, original spicy red sauce. So you have none, you have half, you have medium, you have spicy two, and then you have all the way from three to 10 spicy. Hmm. Maybe six, 
Okay, oh man, the 10 times spicy is very tempting. I love spicy, but I think this is, since this is my first time eating here, I think I'm gonna just go for a six because I don't wanna overpower the flavor of the broth. I really wanna taste the flavor of that broth. 10 is very tempting though. Okay, we'll go six. And then you also have the noodle texture. Uh, medium, I quite like firm. I'm going firm. And then they have extra firm. Here's our full, my full customized checklist. And we're good to go. I think we just have about five, six people in line ahead of us now. Okay. Okay, we are in. All the way at the end? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are in. Okay. Oh, very comfortable. We are in. And you have these little red stools. You have this kind of a small little shoulder-sized little booth all to yourself, the solo dining. That's, I love it. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Okay, so it's all self-contained. You have your own little water spigot here with your own cup here. Nice. Yeah, we have your own like water on tap. Oh, how do you open this? Oh, there we go. That's very convenient. And everything about this experience is kind of like the solo dining concept uh, because they say you don't even need to speak. So you should keep your voice a little bit low. You don't really need to speak. You're self-contained, you're solo. Uh, it's really like the ultimate in private, single person dining cubicle. And we're just waiting for our ramen to emerge out of the window. I'm leaving my seat for a moment. Oh, cool. All these little requests. I don't know the ordering process. I'd like a kid's bowl of utensils. What's the last one? It's noisy. Oh, nice. Here it is. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, that is so fast and so efficient and so polite. And they do a, they do a little bow when they finish your order. And then they roll down the, I mean, they deliver your ramen. They do a little bow of respect when they finish your order, when they complete your order. And then they roll down the curtain. And so you're all just self-contained. It's so warm and cozy. And here it is. The, the legendary bowl of Ichiran at the original location. This does look pretty tasty. The noodles are wrapped in a bundle. There's chashu. I got, again, six times spicy, and then just green onions. And you can see how buttery and milky that broth looks. It looks really thick. So like with, like with any bowl of ramen, the first thing that you have to do is just try that broth. And actually, it's nice how they put the chili right in the center uh, so that you can, I mean, I'll first try that broth with nothing first. It is really buttery and creamy. And I just got the, I think I just got, Maga, you love it? I just got the medium, medium richness, I think. So can you imagine the extra rich? Mm. Oh, that is comforting. Oh. It does have this extreme porky milkiness. It is um, definitely buttery and rich. And then it does have this sweetness to it. I'm not sure if there's some kind of sweetness or if it's uh, the sweetness of the bones, all that collagen and juices being released. But that is warm and comforting and buttery. That is tasty, very tasty. And I think we're now ready to move into those noodles. Nice arrangement of noodles here. The chashu is here. Um, just that little bundle of noodles. Okay, it's not that much chili. I could have definitely gone for the, let us kind of stir that around. Noodles are quite thin and I did get the, the firm noodles. Mm. I do like that chewiness, the doughiness. 
Oh man, yeah. So the noodles do have a nice springiness to them and kind of a chewy doughiness as well. I think I could have gone with the extra. Next time I'd probably get the extra firm because I really like it firm. And then also, um, they start to, the more they sit, they start to absorb that broth. As for the spicy level, once I mixed in, you can see the color turn a little bit red, but it's not, not very spicy. I got level six. I think next time definitely would have gone with level 10. But it does add a nice little balance to the, to the broth and to your overall bowl of noodles. Okay, we have the chashu to try and let's just mix up that, that broth as, as well. Okay, here we go for the, the chashu. Mm-hmm. Whoa, that just kind of slid down with a noodle. It's that tender, it just melts in your mouth. Oh, it really is tender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is very tasty. The milkiness. Okay, and one more thing actually. I didn't order it, but Ying ordered it, and I think she came with two eggs. So I'm gonna try one of the eggs. So you peel your own egg, and then I believe it should be a soft, maybe soft on the inside. Oh, you can kind of feel the yolk rattling around. I'll drop this in, and let's try to break that with our, maybe try to break that with our chopsticks. Oh yeah, it's oozy on the inside. Oh, that perfect Japanese egg where it's kind of oozy and kind of, kind of cooked at the same time. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that egg. Oh, that's a good addition. In fact, I want to eat that with some soup. So I think I'll go in with the, the spoon. Let it swim around. Mm. Oh yeah, with the egg. That yolk is so good. I love, that is one of my favorite features here, your own personal water spigot. Oh, that is just so convenient. Wow, good thing we came when we did because we came at about 9.30 a.m. Uh, now it's about 10.30, I think, and there's a line that goes down the, the sidewalk and also snaking through the top, so it might be more like a 30, maybe an hour wait by now. Good thing we came when we went. I ended up not getting the extra noodles because, I mean, actually the small bowl, I, I mean, that was, the bowl was kind of small. I don't think it was a lot of noodles. Could have definitely eaten the extra noodles and been happy. But then I thought about it and I was like, okay, we have a lot more to eat today. We're filming, we're doing other videos, so I don't really actually need the extra noodles. It would just be cool and it would taste really good. Um, that being said, if I was actually like eating, if I wasn't eating a lot more food today, I would definitely get the extra noodles and maybe two times extra noodles. As those, those noodles are pretty small, to be honest with you. Um, if you are hungry, you could definitely eat two or three extra portions. And so then wrapping up my final thoughts, I thought this was a fantastic experience. Experience is so cool. I mean, being here, again, it's like a, one of those pilgrimage destinations. Any kind of food where you go to the original source or eat at the original branch, I think has even extra sentimental value more than, even more than the food. I mean, in addition to the food is what I should say. Uh, so being here, that was such a cool experience. And then all the whole ordering system, the efficiency, the order form is really genius. And the customization, I think, is something that's really genius because I've been to a lot of other ramen shops and sometimes it's so fast and so, um, I mean, if you're a foreigner and you don't speak Japanese, it's really hard to customize because you just, 
it's, it's a really fast-paced environment. So even, I like the chewy, firmer noodles, but sometimes at a ramen shop, it's hard for me to portray that fast enough. Um, so being able to make your customized order form is really nice, I thought. And then the, the single booths are really cool as well, those solo booths. One thing I was reading about these booths is that uh, they're designed so that you can fully put your devoted focus onto the ramen with less distractions of the environment and the atmosphere. That is a pretty cool concept. And so that wraps up this review of the original Ichiran flagship headquarters location and my first time to eat Ichiran. Um, I'll have the information in the description box below and again when you are in Fukuoka this is kind of a it's just one of those iconic food loving stops if you love food that you just have to come to. Just entire experience for the noodles and also for the experience. And that's gonna be it for this video from Fukuoka. I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for lots more food reviews, travel tips and travel ideas, and just a lot of fun and a lot of good food. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you on the next video.